In this video, we're gonna take a look at the US indexes, the S&P 500, we're gonna take a look at the NASDAQ, the Russell, the Dow, before jumping over to the dollar, really being sold off right now, in a range though, we're gonna take a look at what's going on across the board. We'll look at 10 year yields over here, treasury yields rising again, gold and silver basically putting up a fight, unchanged on the day, silver getting ready and testing the 26 resistance. We're gonna take a look at that. We're definitely gonna focus in on what's going on with Bitcoin over here, Ethereum, and then maybe some other interesting instruments that warrant our attention. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're not, welcome back. This is Jordan with Conquer Trading and Investing. Couple of things before we get started today. Let's start with the with the U.S. indexes over here. In the last 24 hours, all indexes have made new all-time highs. S&P 500 over there, printing 3870. Do you remember what happened back in April? Back in April of uh, 2020, right after the Fed injected all that money and we were off the lows over here. At this point, somewhere around here, I know Andreas has the video. I know he's seen it. You could go back and look over here, mid-April over here. And I said, from here, I don't know what happens next. Either we're gonna, either we're gonna, going up to 4,100 or we're going down and testing the lows over here down at 2,300. Either one of those things could happen. I've, look what happened. Boom, Fed keeps, keeps QE going over here. You see stocks continuing to rise. Uber asset inflation or, or over here. Where was it? It was somewhere around May, early May, early May where I said, all right, for now on, no one else shorts the stocks over here, right? We only know that they, they're going up, the trend is up. Do you remember all those finance, old school finance 1.0 guys? They was like, it's too risky, it's too risky, it's too risky. Oh yeah, stocks are going up. Oh yeah, right. So where, where does that bring us? What's happening today? What are we looking at here as we have the S&P making new all-time highs? Pulling back just a tiny bit off those new highs looks beautiful. What I'm focused in on, and you can see this channel is very orderly over here. It's a narrow shoot that the S&P has been riding up over here, and we're just into that top of resistance right now. If at any time we break out of here and kind of start melting up, then that would be a place, something like this over here. You could see something like this over here when we broke outside that channel. Over here, another another bit of resistance, break out of that channel. If we see that type of behavior happening, that could be a near-term top for us. That's something we could look then for a correction and to lean into. But equities aside from that, they don't look so attractive over here, especially right now as they're towards the top of that resistance. That trend line I just showed you, wait and watch. Let's look at the NASDAQ over here. NASDAQ printing new all-time highs today. Look at that breakout, trend line breakouts. You all are very familiar with them. Not only that, look at that breakout, retest, resumption, conquering the markets all day long. NASDAQ, new all-time highs. What about the Russell? Russell broke down, right? And then it came in for the retest and is, is held up. It made new all-time highs. Is just coming off. It looks very stable over here. Pretty strong support, pretty good support down over here around the 2100 level. Above that, everything is flying. If Russell is able to break down below that, what would cause that? Because the Russell started flying, the Russell started flying once uh, President Biden's $1.9 trillion stimulus was proposed. Let's see what if the lawmakers ever get to work. I don't know when that is expected to be, but it seems like that they're always on vacation and that they may be returning to Washington soon. But if they ever get to work over here and figure out how they're gonna deploy this money, what size package it's gonna be, let's see whether or not the markets are happy with that or they're disappointed, or the markets are just continuing to ride the coattails of the central bank's $315 billion of QE purchases monthly out of the G10 right what that's that signal right there that's expected to continue but you did hear the rhetoric for the last months upon months jerome powell fed chair saying we need help from the government we need help from the government we need help from here comes the government let's see what happens next we'll continue to put this puzzle together dow over here again also new new all-time highs in the last 24 hours looking to go ahead and hold that breakout right now looking to hold and resume off there dow new all-time highs as well dollars trading down today 
Dallas, I could rewind. I don't know what the sentiment out there is on everyone, right? I don't have my finger on the pulse of everyone out there, but I do know that it seems like every time the dollar rises like a tiny bit, like this is it. Like I look at this chart and I'm like, oh my goodness, what a strong downtrend. And then all the dollar bulls down over here, like we're, we're gonna reverse and go up back to past 100. Well, what? But we know that we were watching this trend line over here as the this trend line, we've all looked at this in depth ever since the new year. I kept you aware, I have you aware of this channel that we're currently trading, broken out and then coming in for that retest. Off of this area of support, even down as far as 88.40, we were looking for a bounce over here, even as high into that into that resistance of that of that breakout of that channel. That has not yet occurred. We have not even gotten that high. We were rejected a lot a lot earlier. You could see that light trend line I drew in just to give us awareness. The breakdown, the retest, now resuming down. Look where we are into some local support. Breakthrough here, even just a little bit, then we're challenging the yearly low on, on the DXY. That's not only a yearly low, that's a couple of year low. That will that goes back and that that will pay, put into play the January 2018 low on the dollar 8840. Beyond that, things do not look good for the dollar. If we lose that area, there's not much left in the way. Beyond that, there is 8066. This area over here of support, and then below that, we have the support down here around 7273. So why everyone is very bullish their dollar. I don't understand or see why, but nevertheless, I'm just gonna follow what's going on in front of me. Oh yeah, because QE is deflationary, right? Oh yeah, QE is deflationary. Dollar's gonna go up now, sure. Sure, 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 sure. What about gold and silver over here? We're seeing yields rise today and the dollar down. Take note, one of these is wrong, right? One of these, which is wrong today? The dollar off, yields rising. Huh, is this a new paradigm, a new paradigm? that we are experiencing or are we seeing right now, are we seeing a lot of noise? Is this signal, this move up, you know, Biden, uh, President Biden proposes $1.9 trillion in government debt and then all of a sudden the yields start going up. They're like, wait, what? And then reality sets in, oh, wait a second. QE is, is absolutely bring yields down, right? The Fed's doing a massive amount of QE. There's no way they're gonna let this rise. What do I do? Anyway, that's not, that all stuff's not so complicated. I don't know why, when people start explaining things and you can't follow what they're saying, you know, I don't, maybe they, they, I think they often try to sound smart, but when you're explaining something and it can't be explained simply, at that point you lost me because you, you can't even make it make sense to yourself. All right, so uh, gold spot, gold spot, spot gold here, US dollar, what's going on over here? Uh, continues to consolidate beautifully. You could see right after that. La this took notice. We, uh, by the way, this was done on the, on uh, Tuesday morning's live stream over here. We talked about is gold possibly putting in a lower high over here, a higher low over here. Looked pretty possible. It was not possible to know that that would be the bottom at that point. We just said, look, there's the possibility. It's interesting, right? Then we saw pa uh, price jump up, taking note of it taking note of it. It really gets going on the break of this trend line. That's where the next leg up on the bull market should take place on gold. But as you come in to the area of support, is that where you should be buying, right? Over here right now, you could see gold waking up a little bit, coming back here for that retest. You could see that support right there, re looking to resume off over here. Looks good, should be targeting 1890 next. Silver, the same, into the $26 resistance backed off a little bit and now coming right back up into it to test it again over here. Looks very bullish. Above 26, I think between 26 and 27 and a half is a good place to start attacking over here. All right, getting ahead of it. Once we get back above 27.55, that's when things really should start uh, waterfalling. At this point, I'm looking for the uh, silver to continue to outperform gold over here. Let me see if I could pull up just the chart over here of the silver gold. Uh, cross over here, let me go to all, there it is right here. And we saw this pattern. I want you to imprint this pattern in your mind really quickly because we're gonna we'll look at next is gonna be very familiar for you. And we looked at this morning in the live stream actually, we looked at this pattern taking place, breaking down in, I think it was June or July of 2017 on Bitcoin and then breaking down and then shooting up. Then we also looked at the 2018, right? 2018, 
triangle here on Bitcoin that we all know that broke down. Over here on, on silver gold, we saw it break down and now we saw the retest of this broken support holding as resistance. Look at that trend line over there. I think it's getting ready to break down and not only that, take out the 69.30 support and then go mo much lower. I believe in 2021, silver continues to outperform under these financial conditions. If you look at Bitcoin right now though, you're gonna see that triangle right over here, right again. And is it possible, here's the, the triangle that you're watching right now. Is it possible that we break down over here, right? Whether it's here, or whether we come back into the resistance, come in for another touch, is it possible we break down? And if we break down, how far down are we going? Or this question, how quick will we recover? Just be prepared. Be prepared. This could def this could this pattern that's developing here could definitely break down to the downside. We looked. I'm not going to do it again with you because we looked earlier in the live stream. It was a less than a one hour a, a live stream this morning. If you were there present, and you're still here now. Smash that like button. Definitely, definitely do. Thank you for that. Well in advance. But we were talking about here on Bitcoin. This was done. I don't know if it was done Monday. Uh, on the live stream or Tuesday as we were coming into this resistance and everyone wanted to buy Bitcoin. We just said, well, well, caution as we come into the resistance. But if you get the opportunity, if you get the opportunity to buy in the circle down over here, that's where that looks attractive. We're in the circle now off. What are we off? 28 percent or close to it. 26 percent. Let's take a look real quick off the all time high right now. Price currently off 25 percent. Right, Bitcoin's on sale. We talked about that yesterday uh, or this morning, and continues to be so. In a tweet that I sent out, I talked about you know, good morning to all Bitcoiners. Looking at Bitcoin, seeing it down 10%, a lot of people are like, "Whoa, Bitcoin's red." What's going on with Bitcoin? My mind at this point in the cycle is to realize, well, we're down 25% off-time high. Bitcoin down 10% today. What? Bitcoin's on sale. Right. What is what is going on? We have over here a lot of chatter about a possible double spend occurring on Bitcoin over here. You could see BitMEX research. They put out a piece over here, picked up by all the outlets, even Blim Bloomberg talking about how Bitcoin, uh, you know, they're, they're figuring out what happened over here. Absolutely nothing happened over here. Right. If you if you want to search the article, Bloomberg Bitcoin double spend. Right. Google double spend. And over here. Right. This is sums it up best. Yeah, Andreas, right? Andreas Antonopoulos, some really, really awesome talks and discussions on Bitcoin, especially his talk on Bitcoin for beginners, right? He says, look, what we saw today was one block reorganization. These occur on average every two weeks and are normal part of the consensus algorithm. It's just Bitcoin being Bitcoin, but we're at that point of the cycle where we see lots of FUD, people trying to get you out of your Bitcoin, one of those being the central banksters, the central banksters, right? Janet Yellen leading the charge. Christine Lagarde out of the ECB in lockstep. They must have had some Zoom call or something like that and be like, you know what? Let's let's do this together at the same time. Let's pick up in that TV programming and make sure that people are hearing us talk about how Bitcoin's used for criminals. Here's some reality over here. The cryptocurrency, uh, this is from Chain Analysis. The thing about Bitcoin and other blockchains is that they are all taking place on public ledgers and you have these sophisticated chain analysis companies who are able to go in there and dig in and see exactly what's going on. And yes, they are working with the tax authorities. Do not try to, to not report income. You're gonna be found out and it's gonna be terrible, right? So what, what, what is the criminal activity on chain right now in 2020? 0.34%. Right. But it, here's what's worrisome. Even though right now you could say that, well, well, criminal activity is very low right now in 2020. Very, very low right now. Well, back and, the, and I could see that this is old data. This is when Bitcoin was trading at 10,000. Bitcoin is trading right now, though, at 35,000, 32,000. Right. Is it still 0.34 uh, percent of illegal activity coming from Bitcoin or is that even lower now? Is that ratio lower? Or back in, in 2019, are we gonna look at seeing Bitcoin trading at $300,000 during this bull market in 2021? And then is illicit share gonna be 2% of that? Because 2% of the overall uh, Bitcoin market cap, well, that, that becomes a big deal. Is that why central banks are worried about it? Or are they worried about it, understanding full well, full well, that an enormous amount of money is laundered and used for criminal activities with the US dollar? 
and the euro? Are they just trying to protect themselves? Something to think about. You have to be careful. You have to know your position, why you're invested in what you're invested in. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to hold on and ride the bull of all bulls, Bitcoin. So what are they going to do? Are they going to let it go this time and be like, oh, yeah, let's just get, you know, let, let, let rates go up? Or are they going to do their best to continue to artificially suppress that right through that massive amount of securities they buy each month? They call it QE because it sounds nice. What is it? You know, they brought they they print money and buy securities Oh, They monetize the debt. Yep. They just like they say they do it through different places. So it's OK. Oh, so now they got who Janet Yellen over in the in the Treasury. Wasn't she used to be the Fed chairman? Yep. Oh, so she's an insider. Uh huh. Now working directly with the U.S. government. Uh huh. Oh, what she say about Bitcoin? She said it's dangerous that criminals and terrorists use it. Ah, that sounds like government speak for it. Like it's a threat to us. Therefore, we don't like it. Yeah. Does Bitcoin, does, do people launder money through Bitcoin? No, they use the, they use the US dollar for that. Oh, why? Because it's easy. Oh, and what happens when they get caught? Oh, they pay some fines, but they, but they made so much more money. It doesn't really matter. Oh, could you do that with Bitcoin? <laughs> Bitcoin's a public ledger. Everything you do on it is known. Oh, so terrorists don't use the Bitcoin for money laundering, criminal activity. No. Is Janet Yellen going to be able to stop Bitcoin? No. Nope. If she could, she wouldn't call it taking the place of the U.S. dollar and laundering money and funding terrorism. She would just do whatever needs to be done to stop it. Governments have already understood and known they can't stop Bitcoin. Could they stock Facebook Lira? Yeah. Mark, get over here. It's time to testify before the Senate. What's going on? You, you're, you're launching. You can't find Satoshi. You can't bring him in. So there we are. Let's take a look at what Christine had to say. Recent developments upward and now the most recent downward trend. It's it, for those who had assumed that it might turn into a currency. Terribly sorry, but this is an asset and it's a highly speculative asset, uh, which um, which has conducted some funny business and some interesting and totally reprehensible money laundering activity. Uh, I think that there are criminal investigations that have taken place that I'm sure will continue to take place that demonstrate it uh, very clearly. And and there has to be regulations and and this has to be uh, this has to be applied uh, and and agreed upon. It's a matter that needs to be agreed at a global level because you know if there is an escape, uh, that escape will be used. So I think it needs to be to be if 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 anything, it shows that, global cooperation, multilateral action is absolutely needed, whether it's initiated by the G7, moved into the G20 and then enlarged, but it's something that needs to be uh, to be addressed. And, and uh, FATF is clearly an organization that has expanded in that respect. All right. So what Christine is clearly saying to us over here is that, listen, Bitcoin is an escape from this financial disaster experiment that me at the ECB and all the central banking system has gone ahead and 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 levied on humanity. And the fact that as as you know, Bitcoin, Bitcoin, the lifeboat over here. If people could use a lifeboat, they're going to use it. All of you listening to this, you're well ahead of everyone else, right? On the line, getting on that lifeboat. You see it coming. You understand it. You have central banks talking about it right now. They're worried about it. Are they going to try to come against Bitcoin and are they going to be successful? That's the question you need to be asking for yourself. That's why since so many people are still asking that question, it's still so early on Bitcoin. Ethereum last week, everybody was loving it. Do you remember new all time high just a couple of days ago on, on, on Ethereum? And it's doing what most assets do after making that new all time high. You're seeing a lot of people selling over here. A lot of people got jumpy. A lot of people locking in profits. That's all catching up to it and very quickly over here. Ethereum, in my opinion, is on sale right now. Look at this over here into a nice area of support. Right, we, we drew this in well in advance also, this little buy box over here. Ethereum has come into filled, it, filled into it. Everyone loves it up here. Here's now the time to take advantage. Continue watching and tracking a breakout over here of this trend line for the next move to begin on Ethereum. However, I am not sure, and probably at this point, we're gonna have to re revisit this and rechange the angle over here. And this is what we're looking at now on Ethereum US dollar waiting for that breakout to occur. What about Ethereum Bitcoin, right? Oh, this is interesting. This is interesting. I drew this box down over here. 
this might be a little bit of a buy box setting up into the resistance. I mean, it looks beautiful. We have this little breakout over here. Let me come to the eight hour and explain what's going on with you, right? We have the breakout here from the new all time high from the last all time high on Ethereum. I'm trying to get that all into the chart. Let me pull up a log chart maybe. No, 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 it's gotta go down like this. There you go. Here you go. You can see it clearly now the all time high on Ethereum. We've since kind of had, what am I on the eight hour? So sorry about that. There you go, Jordan off the flow, back in it just like that. New all time high, trend line break over here, breakout, retest, resuming up, looking out to take this last bit of resistance over here. And then Ethereum at this point in the cycle should be flying against Bitcoin. Alt season will be pronounced and in full effect. We've been lining it up as it's unfolding over here. We're not just jumping on right now. And if you're looking what's happening over here, come back to the two hour with me. Don't, don't trade on the two hour. Don't do it. I'm just showing you these 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 fractals that take place all the time over here. You can see that trend line over there. You see the breakdown coming in for the retest. If we resume off, right, at that point, is this a place that we might that we might trade down to? I think so. I think if you do trade down to in there, watch price action off there. If it resumes off and you're interested in Ethereum Bitcoin, just because I'm looking at it, don't think that you should be interested in it right? I'm just looking at it. This is what I see, but you might want to bring your attention over there. Last time we looked at it, it was down over here as we came into that support. We were looking at this as it was unfolding in real time, talking about that was a strong looking place to buy. Ethereum, do your own due diligence, do your own research, not investment advice. Anything I say is not investment advice whatsoever. I'm just looking over here at these pretty charts and showing you what I see and how I see it. I see also dot, let me look at dot Bitcoin first over here, right? Look at beautiful, I just love it. So do you remember, do you remember? And if you don't remember, you have to start watching these, 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 po these podcasts, these shows regularly, because it was just a couple of days ago as Ethereum was, was spiking out over here. And I was like, everyone's looking at Ethereum, but no one's looking at dot and everyone should be looking at dot right now. And I pointed out how we were into this buy zone over here. I pointed out this trend line. Look what's happened since. Busted up, broken up, have come down and taking that resistance, flipped it into support and are resuming off of it, conquering the markets all day long. What you have to learn here is to be preemptive. Preemptive. Make sure you understand trends. Make sure you understand the momentum. Find the sweet spot and then look for the setups, the high probability setups. The only way that you find them and get them is being by patient, is by being patient and attacking when it's time to attack. Not sooner, not later, beautiful. I'll see you all tomorrow morning. Tomorrow we have a Friday live stream. Really looking forward to that. Love our Friday live streams together. Everyone have a beautiful day and I'll talk to you soon.